Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer Selenium interview question 85. That is, what is the purpose of step definition files in Cucumber projects? So let me answer. So in Cucumber projects, we create the associated step definition files for the feature files, okay? For each and every feature file, we'll create a separate step definition file. So what does this step definition file contain? It contains a set of methods where each and every method is linked to one or more steps of the test scenarios that got created in the feature files of the Cucumber project, okay? So let me explain this in a practical way so that you can understand what exactly the step definition files are. So here, I'll quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse ID uh, where we have this Cucumber project created. Inside this Cucumber project, we created some feature files. Inside these feature files, we have created the scenarios. These are the scenarios containing some steps. All these scenarios uh, are written using the Gherkin language keyword and the English statements, okay? So here, for each and every statement written here, okay, we have to implement the code, right? So when you run this particular scenarios of this feature file, which are written in the Gherkin keywords and using the Gherkin keywords and English statements, right? When you run that, what will happen? These steps, which are part of the scenarios, have to run. And these steps need to be implemented. Means the code need to be written for each and every step. In the form of, okay, where you will be writing the code for each and every step? In the step definition files. You see, here we have the step definition files. For login.feature, we have created login.java step definition class file. For restart.feature, as per the example, we created restart.java I mean step definition file. Such.feature file, we have created step definition class file as such.java. So, respective or associated step definition files are created for each and every feature file here. What does this uh, Java files will contain? For each and every step that is written here, inside the step definition files, okay, we have implemented the logic. You see, user navigates to login page. How it is written here? If you go to the login, user navigates to the login page step is implemented in the form of a method. So, what does the step definition files will contain? Methods. It will contain methods which are linked to one or more steps in the one or more steps in this uh, scenarios of the feature file. You see, user navigates to login page is here. User navigates to login page is second scenario also, third scenario also, one or more steps, okay? And these steps are linked to this particular method, okay? This particular, that particular steps are linked in the feature file uh, scenarios are linked to this particular method in the step definition files, okay? So when you run these feature files with the help of Cucumber, this step will call this method in the step definition file, okay? That's what happens, guys. That's how the automation scripts will run. So, guys, now, now you understand, okay, what the what is the purpose of step definition files in Cucumber projects? So inside the step definition files, we create methods. Okay. These methods are linked to the one or more steps which are written using Gherkin language and English statements uh, as part of the test scenarios in the feature files of the Cucumber project. Okay. So this is how it works, guys. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. That is what is the purpose of step definition file in Cucumber. The implementations of the steps, okay, of the test scenarios in the feature files of the Cucumber project are nothing are implemented in the in the step definition files in the form of methods, guys. That's a simple and straightforward answer. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.